my dear children today we do working with the text page number 16 I'll say the questions and answers. You are supposed to write it on the back page of your notebook. Okay. Listen thrice. Get an idea and write it in your notebook. Uh, in your own words. Okay. First question. For how long do you think Kony had kept Jim's letter? Give reasons for your answer. Answer. Kony had kept Jim's letter for a long time. She had received it on January 25, 1915. Uh, Jim had written it on December 26, 1914. At that time, Jim was an officer, a captain in the English Army. A captain in the English Army is always a young man. Understand? It means that Jim's wife, Connie, must have also been young. In the story, she is 101. It means she kept the letter for 70 to 75 years. Okay. Second question. Why do you think the dust had been sold and when? The dust must have been sold when Connie's house had got burned. The table had been damaged by fire as well as water. The fireman must have used water to extinguish the flames of the burning table. Understand? Once again I say, the dust must have been sold when Connie's house had got burned. The table had been damaged by fire as well as water. The fireman must have used water to extinguish the flames of the burning table. Okay. Third question. Why do Jim and Hans think that games or sports are good ways of resolving conflicts. Do you agree? Answer. Jim and Hans are people whose heart is full of human kindness. Serving the army, they have been a witness to all the sufferings of war. So it is natural for them to hate war. However, the problems between two nations are bound to be there. A non-violent method to resolve these problems is what they desire. Understand? It occurs to them that this method could be competing games. So, they think that the games and sports are good ways to resolving conflicts. And do you agree? You can write uh, like this. I agree that some non-violent method must be found to resolve disputes between nations. Okay. Once again, Jim and Hans are people whose heart is full of human kindness. Serving the army, they have been a witness to all the sufferings of war. So it is natural for them to hate war. However, the problems between two nations are bound to be there. A non-violent method to resolve these problems is what they deserve. It occurs to them that this method could be to compete in games. So... They think that games or sports are good ways of resolving conflicts. Oh, agree? Do you agree? I agree that some non-violent method must be found to resolve disputes between nations. You can write in your own way. Okay. Question 4. Do you think the soldiers of the two armies are like each other or different from each other? Find evidence from the story to support your answer. Answer. The soldiers of the two armies are like each other. Right? The story is all about it. They like to greet each other. They play football. They eat and drink together. The two captains talk affectionately about their lives away from the field. They agree that the problems can be resolved by playing games instead of fighting wars. The soldiers of both the armies are eager for the war to end. They want to go back to their families. Thus, there is much which is common between them. Okay. Fifth question. Mention the various ways in which the British and the German soldiers become friends and find things in common at Christmas. See? It was a Christmas that made the British and German soldiers friends. 
the germans waved waved a white flag and wished the british a happy christmas the british responded with same to you they were surprised when the germans moved further towards them without arms the british captain was alarmed that it might be a trick but it wasn't so then they came close they shook hands the british and the ways of celebrating sorry the christmas and the ways of celebrating it were common between the two once again then they came close they shook hands the christmas and the ways of celebrating it were common between the two they played they ate and they sang carols the two captains talked of their families they talked of their own fields of activity when there there was no war they had the same tender feelings about life they did not want to fight they wanted peace they wanted to be with their families as soon as possible okay they wanted to uh, stop war they wanted peace they wanted to be with their families as soon as possible sixth question what is coney's christmas present why is it the best christmas present in the world answer coney's christmas present was the letter which the author had brought for her however in her muddled state she thought that it was not the author but her jim she called the author jim and made him sit beside her she kissed him on the cheek for her her husband had returned after such a long time so she said that it was the best christmas present she had ever got okay once again i say coney's christmas present was a letter which the author had brought for her however in a muddled state she thought that it was not the author but her jim she called the author jim and made him sit beside her she kissed him on the cheek for her her husband had returned from the war after a long time so she said that it was the best christmas present that she had ever got okay now seventh question do you think the title of this story is suitable for it can you think of any other titles actually this answer you have to write even then uh, my answer i say the title of the story is quite suitable the best christmas present in the world refers to the present for the old lady otherwise also the story is woven around christmas however it is always possible to find alternate titles for example war can be another title the story is after all an anti war story okay christmas could also be a title because the story narrates two important christmas days this answer you can write in your own way all the answers you can write in your own words okay hope you understood all are supposed to write it on the back page of your notebook a notebook checking will be done in a live class all right thank you